Say hi, bitch. <laughs> YouTube channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so guys I am finally giving you guys a furnished house tour of my home it's been long I know guys so the long awaited furnished house tour is here finally Ooh. pardon my voice guys Easter happened like the weekend was crazy um oh, wow. We had friends over who we were screaming, shouting, and I like this group of friends, like, because you, you can always argue with them and still, like, no one is angry, you guys are just, it's all just fun, and I love it. Voice is gone, you can talk how amazing the weekend was. So, guys, without wasting any time, let's go into this house tour. Okay, guys, so once you walk in, this is the view. This is our most beautiful chandelier in this house. Um, I designed everything. So that's the former dining and this is the former living. I haven't furnished it yet because I still don't know the type the type of furniture I would like or the color since I now have kids so I just left it blank for the moment and just with this wall art and yeah so you can see I have luggages so we're about to travel tomorrow so I'm, I'm kind of a bit in a rush so I guess I have to still finish packing since I'm traveling with my sons so this is the shoe rack um, yeah so Okay, so on the right hand side, you can see my husband's office. So, this is his workspace. Uh, I mean, I'm not an interior designer, but I did, I did my thing. <laughs> How I felt was, you know, gonna look good. Um, pardon my voice. Um, we had um, Easter and I've been screaming the whole weekend. So he has his um, TV and the TV stand. Yeah, so he loves his office. He loves it. Yeah, um, my husband was recently in Egypt and he's so obsessed with, the, with Egypt and the gods and everything. <laughs> Pyramid. So I just didn't, you know, I didn't want to be uh, the one to stop him from putting something he actually likes. I mean, I'm not a fan of the statues, but I'm just, I let him have it. All right. So this is the view from here. That's the entryway, the main door. So I just put this um, small console table. Yeah, and some mirror because I really didn't know what to do with this space since it's so small. And yeah, I already showed you guys it. Yeah, we have we barely used this um, former dining yet because, like you see, the color of the furniture is so it's white, and we're just a household of um, two adults and two babies. So once you walk in um, this side of the house. Let me go back. I'm, I'm such in a hurry, guys. I hope this turns out good. Okay, so. This is the staircase leading upstairs to the uh, media room, which is also called the cinema room and the game room. And then I have this clock and the vase. So this is our living room. Once you walk in, oh, what can you see? All you can see is everything is two and so you can tell we have twins once you walk into our house. So this is the 
living room. This is to the fireplace. It's one like one of the most beautiful things in this house. I love I love it. So the house didn't come with this fireplace. If you look at the empty house store, the house, the empty house store didn't have this fireplace. I had to do it myself. Um, literally, I told the builder to leave a blank wall, uh, just dry wall, I, I painted white. So I, I had to do a customize this. Um, yeah, I did upload a video about this fireplace. Um, it was about seventeen thousand dollar, sixteen thousand something. I can't remember the exact exact amount right now. And I just love it, guys. I just love it. I just love it guys, I just love it. Okay, so. Oh yeah, that's the view from upstairs. So, those are the newborn photos of our twins, Ethan and Elliot. Okay, so. This is the kitchen, guys. Uh, you need to ignore that the fact that some of the cabinets are gonna have like they're gonna be gray because we're trying something out. We're trying to see how the cabinet will look if painted gray, due to the fact that we now have kids and who happen to be boys. But it doesn't look good, so we'll paint it back to white once I'm back for my vacation. So this is the breakfast nook. We use this um, the most and the island to eat. These are our regular place where we sit down to eat. We have barely used our formal dining yet. Um, yeah. I'm not totally done. That's why I've been delaying holding up like so long to post this video. But um, I just said to myself, like, I mean, if I'm going to be waiting for it to be perfect, I will never, ever give you guys the furnish at all. So guys, moving this way, we got our butler's pantry here in the back. But before that, we have our double oven and a massive micro uh, microwave. So, um, on the right hand side, we have our pantry. See, I even labeled it. I mean, it's not perfect. I tried to do some organization, but it's not, it hasn't been like, you know, enough time for me to really finish up with, with, the, with the twins and everything. And yeah, that's what I got so far. When I come back from uh, holidays, I'm gonna finish up here and then maybe I'll do a video for you guys, but that's the pantry. Um, opposite the pantry, we have the butler's pantry. Um, where we have all our um, glassware and everything you need for coffee. See, these are so cute. <laughs> but, um, so, this is not the way I want it to be, but that's why I got these um, containers to put the uh, um, powder milk over tin and sugar in it, but I haven't had time to do it as well. I'm telling you guys, it hasn't been easy. Like. With two kids, um, 
the same age like it's so beautiful like having twins but it's also difficult at the same time All right guys so we are about to go to the uh masters to the master um bedroom okay so, so this is the hallway Ooh. so on your right hand side you have the guest bathroom and um storages um the laundry room and our uh, which also lead to the garage and on the left hand side of this wall we have um our kids nursery so this is the masters guys I did some few stuff. So that's my um, pregnancy Photoshop. I decided not to put it anywhere, um, you know, in the living room or living area because I'm, I felt like it was something private. So this is, um, I mean, you you, you can see just two pillow um, because I'm not really a fan of pillow. Now that it's my husband, we don't, we don't have lots of pillows, so... We always have just two and I don't really, I sleep sometimes without any. So this bed, um, the mattress on the base, it's from Tempur-Pedic. So it, it can lift it up. During my pregnancy, this was so comfortable. Like it was the best thing I ever did, like buying it. See, you can lift it up and it's so beautiful yeah so um yeah i need to sit there i did my 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 thing i did some i put some mirrors so that's my children's um changing um basket or bag or whatever and i didn't want to put at in the beginning i had gray um curtains oh not curtains drape but i didn't like them because it made made the room a bit dark so i changed it and i put this natural color this beige or nude is so beautiful and yeah so we have our little tv and we have our dresser um so over here you can see we have ludo we play a lot of ludo um especially during my pregnancy because i i didn't i didn't love going out and because i was so heavy my husband and i would play ludo every night so this door leads to the backyard we have a lot of work to do in this house but not just yet we want to fix the backyard and furnish it One in the house is one, and furnishing the house is another one. Okay, this is my husband's closet. I'm not going to go in because I don't want to, you know, invade his privacy, but he's been trying to do his thing. This is all I can show you guys. I don't want to go in because I don't want to invade his privacy. So this is all I can show you guys. I'm sorry. It's his space. So, my husband is really not a picky type, so he doesn't really have, it's not like some, like some men that have so many uh, outfits, shoes, and so on now. He's a very simple person. And this side, we have the master's bathroom. I mean, you guys have already seen it in the empty tour, but this is it now. Um, that's the shower. This shower was an upgrade. It wasn't supposed to be this big. Um, you guys remember, I told you guys that this bathtub, I was going to do, you know, enjoy it, blah, blah, blah. Guess who is now enjoying it? Boom. My sons have been the one enjoying my bathtub. I haven't used it. I've used it only once during my pregnancy and... It felt so good having a warm bath. So I put this uh, wall out. I don't know. It kind of 
we present so much and i love it you know you see this is like a black woman um representing everything representing dream love life and so on and so forth happiness i just love this at first i had it in my um in my master bedroom but I, then i decided to you know bring it to the um master bathroom so this is my section i have my section is low and that's his okay guys so this is the the toilet Whew. this house needs to be painted to be honest We've had it. we've been here for a year, two months now. Need some touch up paint. Okay guys, we are going back out. Um here yeah, on the right hand side you have my closet. I mean my kids doesn't like they didn't use their bassinet um at not at all. They they did use it just for um a month so i just literally wasted money i wish someone i mean even if someone told me i wouldn't have listened though you know it's just the new the new parent syndrome so this is my closet leaving my closet this is what you see so we are going back out guys i'm going to this side of the house oh, this is beautiful right yeah so on this right on the right hand side this door is a storage it's a bit of a mess right now you see so many packages um and this is, we actually turn it to storage for our sons, everything that they need, diapers. I mean, though they have uh, more diapers in the in the garage, but those are their, some of their um, stuff that I need to take with me on on this journey. I still need to pack my bag, so that's why I'm telling you guys I'm in a hurry. So this is a storage. So linen, linen closet, that's what they call it. So, yeah, I still need to do some little work here, but yeah. So, this is the guest bathroom. Yeah, so. See under my bathroom. Mm, what did you say? I woke up like this. <laughs> So, yeah, guys. So, guys, yeah, you got hand soap and hand lotion. We are going back out. That's the laundry room. And this one is the nursery. There you go. I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay. This is our twins nursery. 
so our boys i just started you know letting them sleep here when the um, turn um four months because they are almost outgoing their bassinet but I, I don't do it every day though because they're still very little yeah guys so Alright, so see those are their um their sneakers and then this says to my son, never forget that I love you. I hope you, you believe in yourself as much as I believe in you and so on and so forth. That's so cute. I saw that and I wanted it so bad. I mean it's not even straight right now, but it's fine. I'm not gonna be for so I just use this like for storage but we have enough space in here um, so the thing is um, this room is actually um, the mother in your suite and the, you know, the boys will not be here forever they'll be here until they are old enough to you know to be going upstairs and sleeping upstairs without me panicking but this is just a temporary room for them so this is where I put their laundry after I wash them. And yeah, I have one more of these um, in the storage. I just didn't want to open both of them because it gets so crowded in here and I don't want that. Um, yeah. And I bought them some lovely books, like amazing. You see, this one, Dream Big, uh, Little One, Goodbye Baby, a uh, Good Night Baby. Uh, and I also have a lot of Christian books. Mm, yeah. And then, they have a, a bit of everything. We have cameras there. One camera is just one. And then we have more on the side of the diaper changing stand. Yeah. We have a camera there as well. Okay. It's a diaper change stand. So I didn't want to paint the walls because like I said, this is not going to be their room. This is just a temporary room. So I didn't paint the wall. Okay. So now the laundry room. Ooh. This is the laundry room guys. I need to do a lot of organizing in this house, but waste the time. You don't. You don't even have time for yourself. So, um, our um, washing machine and the dryer, I bought from Samsung. I love this washing machine. So cute. Mm -hmm. So. This door is leading to the garage. So. is the office from this side but there you go see okay 
we're going upstairs. I think I'm gonna use this space for the moment to put my kids on um, toys and stuff so they can play, like a play yard and so, so they can play in. And when we come back from our um, vacation. So now we're going upstairs, upstairs. All right, guys. Here we have the bar. Um, I don't have much stuff in here because I barely come upstairs anyway. So I use the the refrigerator downstairs. So I have um, I'm a, a wine and champagne lover, so I have quite a few champagnes in here. So I recently just had a drink in a week ago because I was breastfeeding and my, my son's just turned five months old. So now I'm free, kind of. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about if I want to keep this plant in this position, but I don't think so. This chandelier is everything like it's so beautiful this is 12 hours of work of art it took 12 hours to put this together yeah that's how determined um the guy was and i as well <laughs> that's my sister guys Uh, this is the view from up here. Say hi, Beige. Mm. Okay, so this fireplace is a work of art, guys. Some of the things that I love that I did here. Okay. Hmm. All right. Oh. Okay, so we have room number three yeah because downstairs has two bedrooms upstairs has four bedrooms this is room number three but this is a jack and jay this is gonna be one of my son's room when they grow up they're gonna have jack and jay the twins so they can see each other or share bathroom so they can see each other every day like already so right now we use it as a you know changing room spare changing room upstairs so if if we want to change the baby one of them or both of them we don't have to rush downstairs we can just change them upstairs here yeah. i mean there's so many rooms in this house i don't think we're ever going to use except we have like family um family relatives or something or friends coming over um but with friends i don't know about that. i'm not so sure because i've learned my lessons a very very one good one okay guys so this is the closet oh yeah we have the the twin pillow in here oh yeah so this is the bathroom
both rooms are sharing this one bathroom. I don't want to come out in any of the videos. This is the, the restroom or the toilet. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so this is the other room in this Jack and Jay. Um, so one of the twins is gonna be here. We have to we'll have to move this um king bed, probably give it out or sell it on Facebook market. So one of the twins is gonna be here, the other one is gonna be in, in the other room, the, the one I just showed you guys. Yeah. This one's closet has a double door. I don't know why they did it like this, but so you see, that's the bedroom leading to the other bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, let's see the closet. Yeah, this one is empty because the last time someone slept here was a year ago. So um I furnished our home since a year ago since last year march but i've just been so occupied with my pregnancy and the you know and the arrival of the twins that i, I barely had time and i wanted it to be perfect but um i just decided that if i'm waiting for it to be perfect it, it won't be anytime soon because i keep changing my mind on on stuff and furniture i want to buy like every guest room actually needs a dresser and nightstand but they haven't got um, gotten a dresser and nightstand yet just one or two rooms have a dresser and nightstand um like this other jack and g this other jack and g has a, a dresser i don't know if you guys saw it okay guys so now we are done here we're going to the other bedrooms all right guys we are back out so the next place we're gonna be going to is the media room or the cinema right here i'm gonna change this door in the future it just looked like a bedroom door so this is our little cinema room um I love it here, like the speakers, the bass, it's, you feel like a real, you're in a real cinema room. Like it's not furnished fully yet because this sofa was just a sofa that I bought it and I didn't like it and I didn't know what to do with it. So I just put it here, but in the future, we're going to be having the recliner chairs, the one you have, like the similar ones you have in the cinema room. That's what we're going to be using here in the future. I mean, there's so much work to do when you buy an empty house, like, but I just love furnishing my home. Like, I enjoy it. Even this area, I'm going to put like a floating shelf so I can put all those stuff on top of it so they don't have to be on the floor. There are so much things to be done here, so I can't really focus on like small, small things when I, when I have big things to do. So, oh yeah, guys. So, that's those are speakers. Those are speakers. You have speakers everywhere at the back. Those are speakers. Those are speakers. They are so loud, and I love it. I love it. Yeah, so we just sit down here. Yeah? <sighs> we have uh, something to cover up in case one is cold, want to watch some movie. 
this is one of my favorite places. When I get bored, I just sit there. Come here, I sit here. I turn on. Uh, I turn on the projector and I watch some good movies. I'm in a bit of a rush and I'm exhausted. I still need to pack my bags for my um for my trip tomorrow. So yeah, we are done with the major room. And yes, guys. The next th thing is gonna be going to the two rooms that are left. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, this light is everything. This chandelier is everything. You see? So guys, this is now the um fit bedroom um and the with the with the fourth bathroom. So this house has six bedrooms, five bathrooms. So this room is actually my mom's room and it's also my family's room. Like if anyone from my family come to visit, they are staying here. Right now my sister is here right now. So this is the bathroom. Um she has her stuff all over um the bathroom. Uh, you could tell someone is staying here right now. Yes, yeah, so um like I said, all of these bedrooms need a dresser and a nightstand. I'm not totally uh, finished with my furnishing of this house. I'm taking my time, I'm not rushing anything. So um in this room, this door it, it's leading outside to the game room. You can kind of go out from this way and you can also when you're upstairs in the game room and no one is in this room, you can um you know we yeah if you want to use the bathroom you can use this bathroom that's why we made the door like that so now we are heading to the last um bedroom and yeah so at the moment this is um unoccupied um, my husband sleeps here from time to time when he's a bit too tired and he wants to have a rest from the um, twins because he works so hard and yeah so I, I let him come here sometimes to sleep so he can catch up some on some sleep you know it's not easy with twins um surely with people that have never had kids before and then your first kids or your first child boom it's two it's such a beautiful blessing we are so in love with our boys um yeah so this is it guys um that's the this is the closet of the room um it's a yeah, so you could tell that um, all the um, hangers that someone lived here before, yeah, we used to, um, you know, someone used to live here before, but they are no longer here and they won't be coming back. Thank God. Okay, guys, so now we are done and we are heading back out to the game, game room and to finish up this video. Um, yes. So that's it for today guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you did enjoy the tour and if you did please do not forget to like share and comment below and if you see anything that you like and you like to know where i got it from please feel free to reach out to me um by comment section and guys just so you know i am not an interior designer i just did my thing and you know i hope you guys were inspired and yeah thank you so much bye guys love you